Can I go up here? Oh shit, I could cut this up. <laughs> oh, that was pretty cool. So maybe I could cut it a certain way. Oh, or not. <laughs> Too late. Time for that. Oh shit, I had no idea I could cut this. Split right through the middle. Chopped it into little pieces. So if this video is getting boring, just remember that it is exactly what I said it was going to be. Just showcasing the way blade mode interacts with the environment. Cut some slices. Now if it works this way with a watermelon, imagine how it looks to chop certain things. You can actually chop a certain piece of a person's brain and you'll see a reveal brain matter without taking out too much and yeah I mean that I'll probably do it as soon as I end this training that was pretty crazy I just got that. Um, let me see. Oh, I'm not going to waste that watermelon right now. Get out of my way, stupid building. Alright. Get out of my way. I don't wanna I don't wanna cut that watermelon by accident. Alright. Let's cut this watermelon into how many pieces? Into eight pieces. Horrible. <laughs> Horrible pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces. <laughs> I want this big piece. Alright. Let's get to the big watermelon. Should I use blade? I'll use a perfect then ah! just let loose oh my goodness that's I wish I could eat that I sound real fat right now but look at all the juice oh does it actually count how many parts you cut it to is that what I'm looking at down there that's crazy. The game is going <laughs> slow for the first time, but again, this is a demo. It was kind of crazy. I've cut this shit into 300 parts. I mean, you can feed 314 people, ladies and gentlemen. 314 people could be fed. Yeah, it does keep track of the, the parts. That's crazy. I didn't really pay attention to that hot screen. And earlier I wasted time counting. So it's going to be fun <laughs> watching this video again and seeing how many pieces I cut certain things to. Example, how far can I cut this? <laughs> Wee, Wee. 
All right. I think I'm done here. I think I pretty much cut everything that there was to cut. I wish I could jump up there, though. Maybe I could. <laughs> now I want to try. I should have tried earlier. Let me try it one more time. That's when you tap X. Oh, did you see what I see? Or what I saw? More things to cut. Let me chop a bottom low piece of this. See how it affects it. Oh, it's kind of still there. How about this much? Oh. Kind of forgot that I had to um, split it. It's going to be interesting watching the video again and seeing how many parts I actually cut. The car too and other items. It seems like... Alright, let's try to see this. Square, hold square, hold triangle. Square, hold square, hold triangle, tap square. How did, how did that dance move? I don't understand what they mean by the way you parry. They tell you it later on in the demo. Oh, did you see that item up there? Was that an item or was I just seeing shit? Well, when you tap things, you kind of affect the pressure of it. For example, look at a little jump and then look at a high jump. And the same thing with the combo, um, depending on how hard you hold it and the timing of the attacks, you do completely different moves. So the same input can result in a different combo if you hold square instead of um, just tapping it. Crazy. All right, so let's get to the bottom of this. I thought I saw an item up there, so I want to investigate. What the hell? All right, I want to get up there. Here we go.
Careful, Raiden. Some of those targets are holding hostages. Use blade mode to take them out safely. Enough with VR training. First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Soliton radar. Contact us on Codec if you have any questions. 